Okay, throwback tayo. Balik tayo sa 2009, a year that saw Ricky the Hitman Hatton, the pride of Manchester, on a quest for redemption. Labing walong buwan lamang nakalipas, natikman ni Hatton ang kanyang unang pagkatalo mula sa kamay ni Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. And the stage was set for a monumental showdown between Ricky Hatton and the smaller pero mabangis na si Manny Pacquiao. 30 years old lang that time. Well, actually, makaedad sila ni Hatton. And uh, in this fight, Pacquiao had to step down in weight kasi nga galing lang ito sa pagkapanalo kontra kay Oscar De La Hoya. Ang nakakaintriga eh, si Pacquiao pa talaga ang napili nilang itapat kay Hatton. Pacquiao was chosen as the ideal opponent by Hatton's promoter that time. Walang iba kundi ang Golden Boy Promotions. Naniniwala ang kampo at promoter ni Hatton na ang mas maliit at ang one-dimensional style daw ni Manny Pacquiao ay papabor dito kay Ricky the Hitman Hatton. If Mayweather's playful boasting is amusing, a glimpse of the opponent is emboldening. Same move every time. From Bray Roach? Yeah. Same move, that's what I'm, just, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Right hook, roll under. Right hook, roll under. Right bip, bip, hook, bip, spin off. Bip, 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 bip. Just give him something to spin off onto. Pero ayun nga mga kaibigan, everything went terribly wrong. Manny Pacquiao, renowned for his light... Hatton lay flat on his back, requiring immediate medical attention. And it took him a considerable amount of time to regain his senses, mga kaibigan. Pacquiao's victory over Hatton stands as one of his crowning achievements in the ring. It's worth noting that Mayweather himself had taken a 10 grueling rounds to defeat Hatton in 2007, whereas Manny Pacquiao accomplished it in a far more empathic manner. Ngayon, merong inilabas na bagong documentary ang Sky at ang title nito ay Hatton. And this film delves deep into the mental struggles and personal challenges that Hatton faced during that period. At based daw ito sa mismong uh, mga naging experience ni Hatton before and after niyang labanan si Pacquiao. Actually, hindi ko pa napanood ito pero meron akong mga nabasang reviews about this film and actually, may mga nadismaya dahil uh, Uh, parang pinapalabas ng dokumentary na ito na hindi daw naging handa si Hatton sa kanyang laban kontra kay Pacquiao dahil uh, hindi daw siya mentally prepared. Taliwas ito sa mga napanood natin na episode sa 24-7 Pacquiao vs. Hatton noon sa HBO Sports, di ba? At makikita naman natin ang mga panong yun eh super confident talaga itong si Hatton na patulugin itong si Pacquiao. But uh, okay, let's make this crystal clear mga kabigan ano. This narrative should not take away from Manny Pacquiao's incredible achievement. The fact remains, Manny Pacquiao was a powerhouse and he completely outclassed Hatton in that unforgettable showdown at the MGM Grand that night. Ang totoo niyan, eh, masyado lang nilang in-underestimate ang kakayahan ni Manny Pacquiao and uh, nagulat na lang silang lahat kung paano durugin ni Pacquiao at paigayin sa logo ng Rockstar Energy Drink si Ricky Hatton. And that's it for this video, JP Boxing Report. Time out.